Hey, BV, it's nice to see you. Uh, happy Nurse Appreciation Day. We thank Mrs. Cody for all of her efforts and her buddy, Mrs. Conair. Thanks for taking care of us. And I know you're working hard and brainstorming ways to help us return in a safe way. So thank you for that. Today, I figured I found another book in the series we've been reading. So let's keep on going. Today, I'm going to read Purplicious to You by Victoria Kahn and Elizabeth Kahn. And I hope you enjoy. Here we go. Purplicious. I was in art class painting a picture. What are you painting? asked Kendra. A picture of a sunset, I said. Ew, it's so ugly. Pinkalicious? Why does everything you paint have to have pink in it? asked Tara. Because pink is my favorite color, I answered. Don't you know pink is passé? Passé is French for over, said Brittany. The new color is black. All the girls like black now. Black is in, said Beatrice during recess. Pink is putrid, announced Pauline, while dangling from the monkey bars. Yeah, pink stinks, added Sophia. On the bus ride home from school, no one would sit with me. Pink is for babies and little girls. We aren't going to be friends with a baby, taunted Tiffany. You don't have to be a baby or a little girl to like the color of pink. Pink is for everyone, I said. Even my brother likes pink. How funny. A boy who likes pink? Everyone on the bus laughed. Isn't it time you move beyond pink? After school, no one would play princess with me. I went to my room and counted all my pink things. I had a pink phone, a pink crayon, a pink piggy bank, pink underwear, a pink tiara, even a giant pink bunny. I had more than a hundred pink possessions. The only black thing I had was an ugly plastic spider left over from Halloween. I wrote with my pink pen in my pink diary. Monday. Pink is still perfect. That night, after the girls teased me in school, I wrote in my diary every day. Then I cried into my pink hanky. Tuesday. I am who I am and I like pink. Wednesday. Pink makes me happy, but mean girls make me sad. Thursday. Pink is a lonely color. Friday. Pink has no purpose. On Saturday... Mommy, Daddy, Peter, and I went to get ice cream to cheer me up. Pinkalicious, what would you like? Asked, her, miss, asked Mr. Swizzle. Magenta mint mango, or perhaps you would enjoy pink passion fruit paradise. Today's special flavor is pleasing pomegranate punch. No thanks. I'll just have, um, vanilla. I sighed, looking around to see who might see me from my school. How about you, Peter? Would you like your usual plum pink perfection? Yes. Yes, thank you, said Peter. You're such a baby, Peter. Pink ice cream is for sissies, I said. Pinkalicious, aren't you going to eat your ice cream, asked Mommy. Well, I'm actually not that hungry. The ice cream tasted bland to me. I couldn't possibly eat it. Pinkalicious has the blues. Daddy said that night when I wouldn't play ping pong with him. What does it mean when you have the blues? I asked. It means that you feel sad. Why do you feel sad? No one will play with me because I like the color pink. All the girls like the color black now and I don't. Are you sure all the girls like black? Maybe there are other kids who like pink. Everyone hates pink. You don't know anything. I screamed running to my room. I'm the only one in the whole wide world who likes pink. I am all alone. No one understands me, I said to myself. On Monday, I noticed a girl in art class. She was painting a beautiful picture. What are you painting? I asked. It's a picture of a cake, but the blue frosting doesn't look right. 
I think I need some pink and then it will be perfect. Really? I asked. You like pink? Don't you think pink is for babies? Pink is perfect, she answered. Watch this and you'll see why. She mixed the pink pink into the blue and the frosting turned purple. Pink is powerful, she said. Look, it turned blue into purple. Hmm, purple is pretty, I said. Not just pretty, it's purplicious. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everybody. Take care.